Winter storm, weather bomb, or nor'easter, what kind of system are we talking about here? Well, technically all terms are correct, but in order for a system to undergo bombogenesis, the central pressure of the storm has to drop greater than 24 millibars in 24 hours. That's when a storm becomes explosive in nature. The reason why the central pressure is so important is all of our large scale systems in North America, our storms or cyclones as we call them, rotate around a low pressure pressure system. And the lower that pressure, the stronger and faster those winds are around the center. Sort of like when a figure skater pulls their arms in around the turn to go faster. Same kind of physics at play. Our storm actually dropped 30 millibars in 12 hours. That's what you call an explosive storm system. This storm rode through very warm waters up the east coast, colliding with that polar vortex in the north, and that extreme difference in temperatures was what fueled that rapid deepening of this low pressure system, leading to uh, huge winds, blizzard conditions, and accumulating snowfalls. The reason we call it a bomb uh, is because of that explosive nature. It is, in fact, an official meteorological term coined by a couple of atmospheric scientists in the 80s, one of which uh, worked out of McGill. These storms aren't totally rare. We do see them every season or so. This one, though, will likely go down in the history books for how fast it strengthened.